So once again, we are going to try and do eggplant lasagna. Our last attempt wasn't really that great. No, we were going to make eggplant rollatini again last time, and then we decided to change it since it wasn't. It wasn't working. working. These, see, these, uh, this eggplant here, it's just a little too short. It's not a bad eggplant. Um, but you don't keep the ends, right? You know. So she's cutting it fairly thin, uh, an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch thick. We may not need both of these for this. It might be a little bit. Yeah, might. Maybe I'm doing that one. Well, you bread them and make them plant parmesan. Anyway, and so we got a lot of this. Uh, the oven is on what right now? Well, we found. A new recipe, and I forget the name of the person we watched. And we're supposed to put these in at 375 for about seven minutes. Well, you know, I'm not the best father in the world here. Yeah, your job. All right, we're going. On. You're gonna need a second tray. I don't think you're supposed then to. I'll, then I'll, I'll cut them. I, oh, I wasn't gonna leave them like that. I think when you save these for breakfast, a little, little ones. Little ones. Little ones. Little ones. What I'm going to do is prepare another cookie tray, since they're not all going to fit on this one. And all I'm doing is putting a little bit of olive oil on the bottom. You could probably also do a um, cooking spray or maybe parchment paper to keep it non-stick. And it is supposed to be a way, I don't remember which way it is, but by looking at the, the top of the eggplant, like on this particular one, it's, it's more round. One way is supposed to say that it's a male, and the other is a female, and uh, the, the top is on I mean, this one. The top, you can't really see, I guess, but... Um, I'm assuming looking at this one, it's probably a female eggplant because it looks like it has uh, more more seeds. And this one, uh, it looks like it has less. So that may have been uh, the male. I don't know which one was just uh, cut right now, but one is supposed to have like an indentation or whatnot at the top, and the other one's supposed to be more rounded. These are going in the oven now, 375 for about seven minutes. So, uh, I don't like to waste too much, and just put that, and I, uh, well, she takes, I take these, and then, uh, you can add them together. Yeah, I just put them in there, I uh, put them in Now let's go, because I want to use these first. Uh, get you know. So, I just, I have them, I have them with egg, a little bit with the egg. You can... Dicing it up. Well, it's not all that much. So I was thinking about actually uh, uh, maybe growing some eggplant. <coughs> but we're not too sure if we want to because we do have problems uh, with deer, believe it or not. And uh, so. In the meantime, we're just going to heat up the sauce. We just have tomato sauce. Regular tomato sauce. On sale. I really shouldn't get the prices of this stuff. Yeah. Well, the eggplant is about two fifty a pound. The sauce was on sale for, I think, 88 cents. The cheese is expensive, I have to say. Cheese is always a little yeah, bit. Yeah, the cheese is expensive. It does go further than we thought, actually. Um, but, yeah, when we get the better... The better cheeses are more money. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, uh, but I tell you, there's uh, no comparison between uh, the uh, uh, jars of, let's say, Parmesan that you buy compared to the uh, uh, real pure, pure stuff. Uh, they, it's a, it's an in insane difference in the flavor. So we're going to be over here just doing some
some eggplant. I wouldn't even know if this is in the, uh, uh, the shot of the camera. So this is over in here where it's just to keep in that bowl? Yeah. Uh, since this is just plain sauce, we're adding some stuff to it to make it taste better. And the first what's thing is what stuff? garlic. This is some minced garlic. But you can was always... That, was that uh, in the oil, that minced garlic? No, what? this is in water. That was in water. So just regular uh, minced garlic, not fresh garlic, but minced garlic in, in water. Uh, you buy it, actually it seems to be a pretty good, pretty good deal. And a lot of Italian seasoning. If you don't have Italian seasoning, do oregano, parsley, and basil. That's oh yeah, I can it. smell the garlic. This smells good. Yeah, yeah. So and what I do, which yeah, okay, okay. I know David tells me, real Italians don't do it. Um, I put a little bit of sugar, just a little bit of sugar in the sauce to help. Well, you have to remember that when the real Italian method is going to be using tomatoes and tomato paste, and they're going to be cooking it slowly over the stove. So it's a little bit different than using a tomato puree or tomato sauce. This is with tomato sauce. This right? was tomato sauce. That much sugar. Sure. It it just it makes a difference in the taste of the sauce. But you know, growing up, my grandmother would make uh, her own tomato sauce. She had this big, they have a big pot on the stove. This is going on the stove. And it would be cooking. Maybe sometimes I don't know. It seemed like she had it going for two three days. But she would take fresh tomatoes, she would mash them, I, I think it was the plum tomatoes and all, and, and then she would put it all in there. They'd always put the oil on the bottom, a little bit of garlic. I don't think we need all this. We have some fresh parsley. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. You can always use dried. Um, we're not going to need I don't, No, I don't think for this you want to use dried. You want to use fresh for this. See, now it looks bigger. It didn't look this big when I it was at know. the store. I know. What does it what does it grow? <laughs> when I first picked it up at the store, I says, Is this the same one you got last time? She says, Yeah. But I says, Oh geez, it was a like a monster one last time. Well, these are kinda wet. They must have just wet or something over there. We're gonna use this is ricotta cheese and we're gonna use about half of this container here. And then here. So again this time we're making to make a, a eggplant lasagna uh, basically so that it's all uh, vegetarian. There's no meat in this one. And you could make it you could make it with meat. I do have meatballs in my freezer so we can always add some. We have a little bit of this cheese left over. I'm just going to throw it in here. This is Pecorino Romano. Pecorino. So Pecorino is, is, oh, it's a very good, throw this in it's here. a very good taste. So I'm just going to take some of this parsley as we're going over here and just kind of uh, cutting the more of the leafy parts and as I get down to the stems, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to use so much of the stemmy part, but uh, it's all good. I don't know how fresh this is, but it's, you know, I got it from, we got it in the uh, grocery part. Uh, and the fresh stuff is that. And as you can see here, we get more uh, stemmy. Uh, so I don't really want all the uh, stemmy stuff. I just want the, the leaves. So I can pick out, I can pick out the leaves. And you can get the, uh, the leaves mm, on that's the good. Yeah. So um, one egg is going into the cheese. You put the Romano or the ricotta? I did, in? I did. Um, how much uh, ricotta did you put in there? About? Half the jar. So that's uh, about uh, half a jar, uh, 16 ounces. Mm -hmm. like, uh, I don't know if we'll need all of it, but that's what we're doing. Uh, if we don't use it all, we'll do something. Um, yeah, I don't know what we're going to do with the other half. I don't think it would oh, freeze yeah, well. Works. The other half of the container. But it was actually um, more economical to get the big one rather than the little one. Now, when he's done with these um, parsley things, that's going to go in here and get mixed yeah, up. Although, the recipe that I saw didn't do that, but... 
Well, you can keep some of this for flavor on the top, too. But recipes are just guidelines, so... Well, this is a variation of what you saw. And, uh, I initially saw the thing, and we did make it, and it was somewhat successful with the eggplant uh, rollatini. Um, so, we said, well, we're having a little bit of trouble with rolling the eggplant. So, I uh, tried to find uh, uh, it to make... Uh, Eggplant, uh, uh, you want to get, keep getting this charged. Alrighty. Ooh. This is not as fragrant as last time. Oh, really? I thought they were. No, it's not. It's, I mean, because it's wet. Yeah, I think we must have got it in, in the grocery part, you know, they got the sprays. And I think, uh, this one must have just got sprayed. Uh, with the water and it dampens it a little bit. Yeah, right, you want me to just put this in there? I gotta use this one. Yeah, please put it in there. That one for what? For the lasagna. Um, the recipe I saw, they actually used an 8x8 and really had it very thick, but I think it'll cook better in this pan. Well, you know what? You want to get it high, right? Don't we have a small? Or do you have we an do, eight by eight? We do. You want me to do the eight Yeah, do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. All right. We'll use this all. Don't worry. Okay. Go in there. All right. The eight by eight. on the bottom. Hopefully my wife has been recording. Looks like she is. There, there, there. Right. Our okay, face. so, yeah. Sauce on the bottom. This tastes okay. very good. Yeah, we get this brand. I uh, usually, we usually buy uh, puree. Yeah. And, uh, I like the puree because it's thicker. You can always water it down. But well, I do a lot of soups and stuff using their tomato puree. So it's, uh, it's a good deal. Uh, they have store brands. The store brand is not bad, but the uh, okay, these got soft and they're slightly brown. So uh, can we fit three, maybe? Yeah. Yeah. It's okay to lay it a little bit. Look at the one over here and then work it into the corner. Okay. Hey, see, you only have going to have enough for two layers. No, there's a whole nother pan. A yeah, no. But look, you've got to use this whole one for the bottom there. Yeah, yeah. back here. Yeah. Yeah. See that little one? We're yeah. going to squeeze this little one in there. Yeah, yeah. Somewhere. Okay. And that's it. You know, we'll have. You don't have any. So what do we want the, okay, the mix now, on here, right? Some of the mix, just like a little bit, like. Well, you don't have another layer of eggplant. Yes, we do. Please no, go. you got the one, but yeah, there's not another there. one. Oh, there. Right, put it on heavy on here. That's good. Put it on good. Oops, uh, so sorry. I can't eat that now. No, you don't. Why can't I eat it? Because there's raw egg. Ah, uh, it's a bull. No, I it's an it. egg. <laughs> eh. Eh. Okay, there we go. Uh, you get an egg. Yeah, you can put a little more in there. Yeah, it would be gross Good. if you have too much raw in there. Yeah, it would be gross. Yeah. Gotta have a... Okay, yeah. so I can have another layer on top. Okay, so one more here, and then, and then we'll do one more layer, sort of, kind of. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I've got the sauce. What do you mean? There's supposed to be sauce in there. Well, put sauce now. 
Well, it can go back to that's, that's okay. That's okay. It's, it's out of order. No problem. It's all going to mix together. Yeah, you see why she said use the smaller pan. So this is two eggplants. If you wanted to make, it would take a lot of eggplants. Well, if you smaller wanted to make a eggplants. bigger, yeah. Even smaller eggplants. They're not big, big eggplants. You want to they, for that? they would have been bigger eggplants. I would have maybe said let's go and do the try to do the rollatini again, but I didn't think that these were necessarily going to be long enough um, to. Uh, If you really, if you wanted like a crunch, you could like sprinkle breadcrumbs on top, probably. That actually would be kind of good. Yeah. Keep fighting that thing yeah. Well, I'm thinking this is gonna get cooked. So what do you got over here? This is our uh, some of our leftover tomato sauce on the stove. We're going to warm that up. Yeah, I've already made a mess. I make a mess every time I do tomato sauce. This was frozen, so I just kind of fresh frozen, it. <laughs> fresh frozen, and it's going to heat now. And back here I have water for the pasta, and I'm going to use a little frying pan to kind of saute the um, eggplant with some olive oil and garlic. What eggplant? We have extra eggplant. Oh, we got some cut up eggplant left over. Yeah. All right. And then we got over here, we're going to get, uh, also we got some uh, parsley. Uh, we're going to use, uh, we're going to use it. Well, let me see how much Here's we got the there. Eggplant. All right. And we're just going to yeah. plop it in there. Put it in there. With yeah, some right. olive oil and garlic. You got olive oil in there already? No, I don't. I should have been warming up the it's olive oil. Go. Alright, olive oil, sprinkle it around, we're going to have to get another bottle, I guess we have another bottle, a little bit, there, right. and some minced garlic, minced garlic going in a little bit, Ooh, it smells delicious, Just minced garlic and water, you sure it's oil and not water, I mean it's, water, it's water, yeah. water, Ooh, but it smells good. It does smell uh, good. And then yeah. I'm going to put some Italian seasoning in here with a little bit of sugar. Yeah, add Italian seasoning. Yeah. Yeah. Then we're going to take the ricotta cheese and a little of the pecorini, mix it together, mix it with the tricolor penny and the sauce, stick it all in here, throw some more cheese on top, pop it in the oven. Gonna, well, are we going to put a layer of sauce in the pan a little bit? Yeah. So it doesn't stick. Yeah, 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 yeah. We may have to add a little, maybe a jar of tomato paste to this. Maybe not. We'll see how much is here. This is actually leftover. This is leftover. The eggplant is leftover. The parsley is leftover. The cheese is leftover. So we're using everything up tonight. We're just throwing it together in an experiment. Yeah. Well, we're going to try to make like a... A baked uh, ziti type, type of a thing. Except yeah, we don't yeah. have mozzarella cheese for the top, but we'll put the pepperoni on top. Cheese. We'll use that up. Oh. Okay. Well, we got uh, ricotta, though. Right? Ricotta, and we're going to mix that with, with um, the, the chopped parsley. parsley. All right. 
So I guess I'll go over there and chop the parsley while yes, we're getting this ready. Alright, we'll be back. The pasta's still going back there. Got to stir it a little bit. Here's the sauce. Here's the uh, ricotta cheese. And my wife added in an egg. And let's mix that in. Now we're going to add in the parsley. And a lot of parsley. It smells better this time. I think it was just because it was kind of damp the last yeah, time. Yeah, um, what we had to do with the parsley is when we were done using half of the bunch for the eggplant lasagna, I took what was left and I wrapped it in a paper towel and put it in the refrigerator, and that seems to have dried it out nicely. It stayed nice and fresh. All right, so this is ready for when the pasta is. This is going to be a little while. Be about, um, What did you turn it off for? Oh, you that's turned up the sauce. Yeah, the sauce, because the sauce and we in. got some eggplant going still over here. All right, we just sauteed that a little bit with some garlic and olive oil. I'm actually going to put that in the sauce to finish. I don't think it needs to be cooked. Cook. Well, these were not cooked at all, though, were they? No, they'll finish cooking in the sauce. Well, then you better keep it in there for about a half hour. No, not half an hour. Yeah, about a half hour. See, I always got to give me trouble with okay. it. Then I'm going to have under, quickly. I'm gonna that's how I do it for your breakfast. Sauteed, I want them cooked. That's how I do it for your breakfast eggs. Okay, they'll finish cooking in here. I'll put this back on. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. There you go. All right, so we'll be back in a little bit here, and then we'll uh, hopefully take about five more minutes for the pasta. Start this up. That's got to get a nice boil. All right, going to get that cheese. Can I taste it? No. Why? There's raw egg in it. You it ain't raw now. It. You stirred it in. No, the, no, no, You no, stirred no. it in with the cheese. No, no, no. If I do make meatballs, I'll put them on the side. We don't want them in this because tomorrow is Good Friday. No meat for us. So we want to keep this vegetarian. If we want meatballs, I'll do them separately. Uh, okay. But it's not vegan. It's not vegan. Or is it vegan? No, because we have cheese. Cheese is not vegan? Vegans do not eat animal byproducts as well as mm. animals. So any kind of cheese, ice cream, unless it's made out of soy. Mm, okay. Um, so like feta cheese or something. Right. Like that. Vegetarians can eat byproducts. So they can eat no. eggs and dairy and all that stuff. But vegans do not eat any animal. Do they have pointy or. ears? Those are Vulcans. They're yeah. not vegans? Those are Vulcans. <laughs> she says she's a vegan. <laughs> all right. We'll be back in a little bit. While the husband is on the phone with a telemarketer, this is what I've done. I've taken the sauce with the eggplant and put it in with the noodles, drain the water, and now this, we're going to have a layer of this on the bottom. I'll put about half of this on here. There we go. So we'll make sure we have about half. You know, this would also be very good if we had spinach in here. Um, spinach wilts down and it's actually pretty tasty with with the noodles and I, we've done that before oops and of course made a mess okay so here's one layer on the bottom now I'm going to go over here to the cheese and this is ricotta cheese and we'll put a little more than half in here I'm just going to lay it on top Sort of spread it out. Just here. Can you hold the camera, dear? Yeah, I guess. I'm gonna get it in here. Got it. Uh, a little yeah. shaky camera time. All I'm right. I want to spread about half of this out. I thought we were gonna just kind of like mix it all in. Well, we'll see how it comes out. It, it'll probably melt all together anyway. So. Yeah. Okay. Now we're gonna put the rest of the noodles on top. Well, sort of make it like a layer in the middle. Mm -hmm. Here's the rest of the noodles on top. This is a either an eight by eight or a nine. Oh, we got tricolored noodles tri -colored, there. Tricolored, yes. Yeah. Tricolored. I didn't see that before. So there's a little bit more on top here. It's melting already, and we're going to pop this in in the oven. Too bad we didn't have mozzarella left. Well, I'll put some of that pecorini on top. That should melt a little bit, right? Yeah. 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 Or roast. <laughs> well, one or the other, yeah. We so, yeah, should put a little breadcrumbs on top as well, nah. too. No? Yeah, we get there. It's the pecorino romano. It's my new favorite. 
This is very good and very expensive. Well, I wouldn't say very expensive. Yes, but I would say expensive. very expensive. This little jar was um, seven ninety nine. Is it seven ninety nine for the little one? Mm. So we'll just put this on top, and we can always add more. Yeah, you just sprinkle it. All right. So uh, you're gonna go what in there? Gonna go in the oven again? Yeah, yeah it's about three seventy five. We're gonna do it till the cheese melts. It's probably gonna be fifteen twenty minutes. Uh, we'll uh, today is the Ante Cinqua. Today is Holy Thursday. Holy Thursday, and yeah. I plan on putting it in my pie okay. hole. Alright, All right, we're going in there, our wonderful little yeah, oven. So we're waiting for that to cook. Where's our little puppy? Where is she at? Claire! Hey! Oh, taste test. Nom, 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 nom. She got a little bug bit on her cheek today. Yeah. She spent all day on the porch. Oh, she loves the, the porch. The porch is screened in. We don't let her, of course, run loose. Yeah. But okay. I think she got a little bug bite. Maybe. She's a little bug anyway. Oh, huh. Aren't you? Poor baby. You're a little bug. You're, you're a little bug. All right. I'm cleaning up. And we'll see you All in right. 20 minutes. 20 minutes? Okay. All right. All right, baby. <laughs> Here comes our version of baked ziti. And the, the same traditional pot here. Let's get me a scoop bowl. <laughs> I got my little plate here and a fork. And the wife is going to go and dig into that. Yeah. And probably needed to be cooked more. <laughs> so we have eggplant, parsley, zucchini. Yeah, diced up eggplant. The uh, Parsley in the ricotta cheese, and uh, topped over it uh, with the pecorino romano. Yeah, see underneath that cheese melted also. All right, well we'll see if it's hot enough in a second. All right, well where's yours? Right there. And don't worry, we'll, we'll get put some aside for Claire. Yeah, it's not. It'd be too hot right now, probably, to bother. Oh, okay. We're gonna have supper. All righty.